Hello and welcome to this video on converting recurring decimals to fractions. So let's just say we had a recurring decimal like this, 0 0.3 recurring, and we want to convert that to a fraction. Now let's just say that we call this value x and we want to find out what that value of x is. Now here's one method that works. We can first write out what 0.3 recurring means explicitly. What does the 3 recurring mean? Well, it just means that digit of 3 is repeated. So it means 0.3333, etc. Now the trick is, is we see how often that digit repeats. Can you see that digit of 3 repeats every one digit? Now, if it repeats every one digit, we can times both sides by 10. If it repeats every two digits, we times by 100. If it repeats every three digits, we times by 1,000, etc. So it repeats every one. So we multiply both sides by 10. You'll see where this is going later. Now, when we times this by 10, it moves the decimal point one place. So we get 3.333, etc. And it's very important that you make these decimal points line up. Otherwise, it makes the next step much more difficult. And then the trick is, is that you subtract the two things. So we're going to do 10x minus x, so we get 9x. And then we're going to do this minus this. Now, can you see, when you do the 3 minus 3, that's just 0. 3 minus 3, 0. Now, any digits are the same, are just going to be the 0. So can you see that all of this is going to be wiped out? And all you're going to be left with is 3 minus 0, which is just 3. So then, if we want to find out what x is, we just divide both sides by 9, because x is being multiplied by 9, and that gets you x equals 3 over 9, and 3 over 9 simplifies to a third. And a third, indeed, is the same as 0 0.3 recurring. You might have known that from before. Let's do some more examples. I've now got 0 0.5 recurring, and I want to convert that to a fraction. So step one is write it as x and write up explicitly what 0 0.5 recurring means. So it's 0 0.5555. That'll do in terms of number fives. Then because the digits repeat every one digit, we times both sides by x. So 10x times that by 10, it moves the decimal point, 5.5555. And then the magic happens when we subtract. So we do that minus that, we get 9x. And that minus that, well, these are all going to get wiped out when we subtract them, leaving just 5 minus 0, which is 5. And then if we divide both sides by 9, x is equal to 5 over 9. And we can always check, if we do have a calculator, do 5 divided by 9 and we get 0.555555. Right, next one. Now we have two digits which are recurring. So we got 0.45 recurring. Well, what does that mean? That means that the digits are repeating between the two dots. So it goes 4, 5, and then it goes back to the first dot again. So 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5. So if we make that x, x is equal to 0 0.45, 4, 5, 4, 5, etc. Let's just repeat it a few times. And we look, how often does it repeat? Well, it repeats every two digits. So this time, we multiply it by 100. Now, if we multiply by 100, it moves the decimal point two places. So it's going to be 45, and make sure the decimal point's in the same place, 4, 5, 4, 5. And the reason we multiply by 100 is because we know that will move the decimal point two places. And so we therefore know that the decimal point is going to go to the next repeat of the 45. It therefore means that these digits are going to line up because we shift it two along because we times by 100. You're going to, you can see it's still going to line up as before. So then we subtract as before. 100x minus x is 99x. Now we do this minus this. All these digits are the same, so they get wiped out. We're just left with 45 minus 0, which is 45. Divide both sides by 99, we get 45 over 99. We could divide both top and bottom by 9, so we get 5 over 11. And let's just check. 5 divided by 11, press the SD key, 0 0.4545. Indeed, it worked. Right, the next one. 0.36 recurring. Now this time the dot is only on the 6, so it's only the 6 that's repeated. So x is going to be 0 0.3666666, etc. Now, as like the early examples, it's only repeating every digit, so we multiply by 10. 10x is equal to, move the decimal point one place, 3.666, so you put the decimal point in the same place. 
Now, when we subtract this time, well, 10x minus x is 9x. But these 6 are the same, so 6 minus 6, 0, 6 minus 6, 0. So they're going to wipe each other out. But now we've got 3.6 minus 0.3, which is 3.3. So we're left with something after the decimal place, but that's okay, we can deal with that. If we divide both sides by 9 as before, we get 3.3 over 9. Now we don't like to have decimals in fractions, so one way we could fix that is just to multiply top and bottom by 10. So we multiply the top by 10, we get 33. And if we multiply the bottom by 10, we get 90, not 99. For some reason, that's a very common student mistake in this method to do 9 times 10 and end up with 99. And then we can simplify that. They both divide by 3, so we get 11 over 30. And that's the final answer. Let's do the last two. We've got 0.421 recurring, with a 2 and the 1 are recurring. So that means that between these two dots, the digits are recurring. So the two and the one are repeating. So we've got 0.4, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, etc. Now, it's repeating every two digits. And so we would times by 100. So 100x is, move the decimal point twice, it's 42 point, make sure these line up. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. And if we subtract these, 100x minus x is 99x. And then when we subtract these, well, these all cancel because they're the same. So we're left with 42.1 minus 0.4, which is 41.7. Then we do, as we did before, we divide both sides by 99. Now, that's a decimal, so we multiply top and bottom by 10, so we get whole numbers. It's 417 over 990, and then we can simplify that fraction, but I'm just going to cheat at this point and do that fraction in my calculator. Yeah, it simplifies to 139 over 330, so we could have divided both of those by 3. And then the very last one, we've got 3.502, where it's recurring between the 5 and the 2, so that means the digits repeat between the 5 and the 2, so it's 3.502. 502, 502, etc. So it repeats every three digits this time, so we need to times by a thousand. So that moves the decimal point three times, one, two, three. It's 3502. I'm going to put the decimal point in the same place. 3502.502502. 502. So when we subtract these, a thousand x minus x is 999x. And then Subtracting these gets rid of everything after the decimal point in this case, because they're the same. And 3502 minus 3 is 3499. So divide by 999, and we get 3499 divided by 999. And I'm not sure that simplifies, so let's just check. 3499 divided by 999. And no, it doesn't. So in fact, that's the simplest form. And if I press SD, yes, it gives me the right answer.